Hello, I'm Chris Lowell from Veronica Mars. Time to get weird. Bring me that. Thank you so much. In this scene, Paul Rudd plays this character, Desmond Fellows, who's this sort of has-been rock star um, that everybody was obsessed with when you know of our generation. And so, in order to save the radio sh station, he's come in town. They've they've convinced him to come play. And what he does is he plays the show with like his dead partner's like vocals, like playing overhead and he just like sort of sings along and plays along um, and so he's like always been my idol and now I'm meeting him and, and this is my first impression so get excited um, this is actually kind of similarly my first impression of Paul Rudd so I'll walk you through everything this is what was going through my head which is the exact same thing that was probably going through Piz's head okay so here we go here comes the elevator I didn't get a chance to say this on the way over um, I was the biggest my pretty this boy. is how I talked to Paul in the first place it was like oh Wet Hot American great. Summer was great uh, yeah, here's your soda no I'm an actor but I'll get you anything you ask for and that's real alcohol yeah Paul's just a complete Hope it's like okay. he if, if he burped you could set it on fire he just no that's not true at all I actually don't know if he's an alcoholic I, I doubt it Waiting for the he's um He's very talented. Um, in America. He's an incredibly good-looking man. Almost intimidating, in fact. Um, oh, this is where he signs this napkin. And I think he kept signing it a different name each time. Um, not that it matters, because this guy is smart enough to, to know not to take it. Why? I'm Desmond Fellows. That's right, Ratner. Walk away. Walk away. Hey, Obviously, he's not cool. So we shot this like towards the end. This shooting on this location in this in the uh, in, in this hotel room is always a nightmare. But um, but for some reason doing with Paul was was painless, mainly because cue it. Da -da -da, she was there, and that made everything easier for everyone. We really do have all the amenities. I think this was like the writer's only way of doing like a uh, almost famous remake for the CW. But I'm, I'm not nearly as good looking as that kid. Hey, what's up? Typically, uh, in the show, they really don't like it when you ad lib. That's like a big no no on this show. But Paul, for some reason, well, mainly because he's Paul Rudd and he's friends with Rob and Dan and he's kind of a big deal. They let him sort of do whatever he wanted. You're on the air with Desmond Fellows of My Pretty Pony, playing a benefit tomorrow night at Liberty Lunch, brought to you by Wrigley's Extra Gum. Okay, caller, are you there? The, the leftover gum? The brand. Extra gum. Sugarless. <clears throat> okay, caller, are you there? Desmond, you so there were a few times where he could, where he kind of went off the cuff, and this scene was definitely oh, one of yeah. them. Oh, yeah. All the old hit. You bet. Oh, seeing this girl? Yeah, this was yeah, fun. We did a lot of takes of this. About um, asking if she would show him her... Um, Let's break it down. Breast. Okay. He wanted to see her breast uh, in that scene. Second caller, you're on. I with think that. he actually did want to see her breast in that scene. Oh, um, thanks a lot, man. I know so, I wanted to see her breast in that Shroud's scene, but it couldn't happen because that's How do you live with yourself? sexual harassment. Well, I drink heavily and I abuse drugs. Hack. Moving on. You're on with, with Desmond. I'm calling from Semites for the Savior. We want everyone to know that this man makes songs that mock our religious beliefs. You're a Jewish group, and your initials are SS. Oh, God. We encourage everyone to pray with us that he cancels the show and... Nazi gonna happen. Nazi gonna happen yeah, is, like, the, the best line ever. Itself. That I was definitely one dead. that Paul threw in. That Girlfriend. and the initials being SS hey, and all the big hit. Dead. Um, and this is sort of got a pen line here at the end that's coming up. Where is it? Say it. Look at me. Got a pen. Got a pen. Yeah, there it is. That was great. They wouldn't let me use any of my ad-libs, obviously, because I'm number nine on the call sheet. And... Once you have to use two hands to count, they don't care. That's when everything changes. Before we move on to the next episode, there's one more scene in this particular episode, which, well, I mean, a lot of actors talk about moments in their career that changed them, that set forth a new path. And for me, that scene would be this one. Now, as you can see, that's Rob Thomas and Paul Rudd with... Wigs. Definitely wigs. Um, I wrote this song, actually, for them. It was called Mayday. That's not true at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is something that 
I dream about is Rob Thomas singing this song to me. His hair pulled back taut behind his cute little ears. They're cute little ears. Is that too much information? <laughs>